hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm odun ayo if you are new here you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thanks for sticking around yes i should thank you for sticking around because i know i've not been consistent on this channel but <laughs> best believe i will tend to post some more often this video is for my gentle wives and my gentle wives alone anyway <laughs> Even other people, even those that are not married yet can still learn from this, but it's just for my Gen Z wives. You know, we don't really have much experience in marriage. We don't know much about marriage. Even me that I'm talking, I don't know what I'm doing. My marriage is just two years, like over two years now. To be honest, I'm still a baby in marriage. In this video, I'll be talking about how to deal with resentment. Three ways you can deal with resentment the ways that have worked for me as i said i'm a baby in this marriage thing i don't know anything about marriage in fact i'm still learning i'm just pushing and just i don't know what i'm doing in this marriage thing but i'm just going to share with you things that has worked for me because at the point in my marriage i resented my husband and it's almost crashed my marriage to be honest i just want to share with you things that worked for me to deal with resentment because i obviously noticed and found the root of the whole problem that i had in my marriage going on in my marriage at that point and i realized it all bones down to resentment resentment is something i've noticed people really talk about even people that have been married for a long time 10 years 15 20 years they really talk about it even online i really see people talk about resentment and i feel like it's something that really eats up marriages especially people that are just starting i mean the gen z because people that are getting married now early now are gen z's yes and i'm still a gen z <laughs> you will notice even people that have been in marriage for a very very long time they deal with resentment but they just hold it back and hold on to it without dealing with it and i strongly believe it can be dealt with i'm still trying to work on it so at times that my memories just flash back to okay some of the things i resented my husband for I just try to tell myself that okay i've moved past this this should not be an issue anymore i know communication communication is very important in marriage we know that even as a baby in marriage everybody even in relationship we all know that communication is very important if your husband has done something to you if you don't tell him what he has done there is no way he will know he's not a wizard he doesn't have superpowers for him to know that okay this is what i've done if you don't communicate to what you feel your emotions it will bottle up and it leads to resentment automatically because anytime he, he has done something because you've not spoken about it you've not addressed it you will keep remembering things he has done in the past and keep referring to it. Anything can lead to resentment. It may be just little, little things that happen, little, 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 little quarrels that happen that you just tend to keep quiet and not say anything about it, not address the issue. These are things that lead to resentment. So it's better to communicate, talk to your husband when anything is wrong. Because it, it really relieves your body. Aside the whole kids taking care of kids, all that while all that while in the house, you will still keep battling, battling with things the husband has done, not telling him what he has done. I feel like that will steal your peace actually. So it's better to deal with the issue, tackle it by speaking to your husband, communicate with your husband. Communication is very, very important. I'm sure everybody knows that. Even in friendships and even with your colleagues, anybody, everywhere, communication is very important. We all know that. When you, you tend to communicate with your friends, communicate with your colleagues, why won't you communicate with your husband? It's when you speak your mind out, when you let it out, it relieves your body and there won't be room for resentment in that way. Forgiveness, you have to learn to forgive. Trust me, this marriage thing, eh? as i'm a baby in marriage i'm not trying to advise anyone this is not me advising this is just me telling you what has worked for me forgiveness is very very important you need to learn how to let go even the smallest thing can can make you so angry and lead to resentment you resenting your husband so you need to learn how to forgive no matter what regardless you need to learn how to forgive the greatest offense that i know that can happen in marriage is cheating for me I, now i'm not talking about domestic violence if you are going through domestic violence it's not an option please 
it's it is not an option there's nothing to talk about to just leave the marriage that is the best thing to do in that situation but as i was saying cheating is the greatest offense that i know happens in marriage what i would say to that is if you can deal with cheating if you are someone that can deal with it and can accept it just stay there and make sure you forgive your husband just make sure you are not resenting him because of that if you decide to stay just forgive him i'm not trying to say cheating is okay i'm not justifying cheating but if you choose to stay then you should make your marriage work and just give yourself peace because i feel resentment holds, holds back our peace and in my opinion we are still very young we have a long way to go in marriage if you are resenting your husband at this early stage of your marriage what will happen in the next five years ten years now i'm not even talking to people that have been married for five years now because someone that has been married for five years i don't need to think the person will still fall on that gen z <laughs> probably the person will be millennial so i'm talking of five years i'm talking of below five years now if you can't condone cheating at all it's better to leave than stay in the marriage i'm not trying to justify cheating you cannot do without having misunderstanding you can't do without quarreling as husband and wife it's not possible as your back people say, I want a thing only my jazz and tongue. <laughs> it's not possible for them not to fight. So you just have to deal with it in the best way we can. For you to resent someone, the person has already done something to hurt you in a way. That is why you are even resenting them in the first place. So you have to find a place in your heart to forgive them and just move on from whatever the reason might be for the resentment. See the good in your spouse it is very important to see the good in your spouse there is a good side to everybody you have your good side you have your bad side everybody has a good side and a bad side everybody has their flaws nobody is perfect remember nobody in this life is perfect nobody knows it the good side let it overshadow the bad side it is a very good way to deal with resentments when you are thinking of okay you did this you did that before you even you are done thinking about it just let his good side overshadow it you can't tell me there is no point in your marriage your husband has been good to you there's a point in in your marriage that he has been the kindest so no matter what you are going through aside from messy problems please <laughs> no matter what you are going through that that leads to resentment you can still see the good side in it i understand that sometimes you 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 want to work on this whole issue you're having in your mind probably because of resentment or so and your spouse is not willing to change that is a totally different case i'm talking about when your spouse is also willing to change and work on it and you, you are trying to work on it together sometimes when your spouse is even trying to work on the whole issue you may not be willing to because you are resenting him and you really don't want to know anything you don't want to hear anything you just have to look past it and look for a way to tackle the whole issue of resentment in your heart it's very very easy for a woman to resent a husband let's let, let's be honest when your husband is trying to sort out issues with you don't be too adamant don't be unwilling to forgive don't be unwilling to listen to communicate that won't help your marriage and to be honest our marriage because we are all together <laughs> our marriage is still very young instead of just allowing these little little petty petty issues doing everything we are trying to build it's better to just tackle the issue the main issue it might not be resentment it might be something else but just make sure you look into it and try to always try to resolve things if your husband is resistant because those people that have stayed long in marriage they'll be able to enlighten you on that because it's very important to take counsel from people that are, are knowledgeable in this things in this married thing that have experience that will advise you in the right way better to get counsel from them in some situations but this is what works for me regarding resentment and i've been able to to forget about some of these things i've moved past these things there are times i remember let me not lie to you people i'm not here to give you proof. there are times that i remember these things and i'm like oh god i pray what i've just made sure i've tried to work on it and i'm still working on it but there's 
a great improvement in the whole issue having issue i just decided to share this with you guys i just hope it's helpful for anyone going through resentment these three things worked for me and it has been better thanks thank, thank you jesus <laughs> guys let's just keep being the best version of ourselves in our marriage i just hope you find this helpful thank you guys for watching see you guys in my next one bye guys